that's shipping in, in all 2016 Volkswagen vehicles um, that I know of, that I can tell. And um, it's pretty much standard across the line, except for the fact that the uh, if you had navigation, obviously, uh, that'll be an extra thing. But the great thing about MIB2 is you're going to get the... Um, you know, the normal things like FM radio, AM radio, CD player, satellite, and such. Um, MIB2 also has an enhanced navigation system, which uses uh, TomTom Tom maps, uh, at least for North American Volkswagens that are sold. And the uh, and it also supports things like Android um, Auto, Mirror Link, as well as uh, CarPlay. So I can't do the first two uh, today, but I'll show some of the other features and this will be beneficial to you guys. So let's uh, let's start her up. So you have the nice. Uh, you know, the the MIB, MIB2 is it's it's controlling this, but it's also controlling this in our console. Those two are kind of connected as an infotainment system goes. Um, things like the second hand weren't possible with uh, previous models because uh, MIB2 has the uh, faster CPU and uh, much more memory. Okay, let's fire it up. So. We'll start here on some uh, some techno. So I've got it muted for you guys to save you some some pain here. So you'll notice on the center console here, the uh, the volume will show here. Uh, if I cycle through some of the activities, uh, I've got navigation which will show here, and if I'm navigating somewhere, it'll show uh, the route. Uh, audio will show here as well. What's currently playing uh, in the middle console, and this is all a part of the system that. Um, that is uh, all included here. So, all right, so let's switch over to, we've got band here. Now this, you'll notice this little strip here. This little strip here is a proximity sensor. So as I put my finger up to it, those actually on the dock there in the bottom will uh, produce itself. This is kind of nice. Um, you've got uh, satellite AM FM in the band area. Not really anything too exciting about, uh, about this. Um, system, I mean, FM, AM, we've got media, which will show me uh, a Bluetooth device and also an auxiliary port. And if I have an SD card in, that'll show as well. So all the actual intelligence and the, the logic is actually taking place in this area here, which you'll see. So SD1 is reserved for the TomTom Tom navigation SD card. Let's uh, not take that out, but it comes with your car uh, in a box like this. See the TomTom Tom logo in the bottom there. Uh, SD2 is for media or pictures or all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then there's a CD slot in here too. I don't think it's a six CD changer. I think it's just a one CD changer. But all the intelligence happens here. Everything here is just a, a display basically. Um, okay, let's go over to phone. So we've got my favorites here. I've got my, my two friends. Um, contacts. Uh, the contacts doesn't scroll, but uh, when you are in the contacts area, you can use this to uh, to navigate. Uh, so that's phone. We've got voice commands. Now on to nav. What we've all been looking for, waiting for here. So we've got my um, your home is here as an icon, just showing kind of where you where you are. You can uh, zoom out here. It's much faster than any previous um, navigation that's built into these cars. It's it's really quick. We can change. Um, this shows elevation, this shows the kind of the range of our zoom level. Uh, as I move over my hand, you'll see these come up. So we got new destination, my destination, tours, POIs. We're going to quick uh, view. We got traffic info, day, night, split screen, 2D, and 3D. So let's switch to 2D. There's that. Back to 3D and night mode. Really cool, very nice. Um, nice view there. Uh, from here, I can control my media player if I'd like to change songs without actually clicking on media, which is kind of nice. In the setup area, we've got some uh, some features here. So we got root options, uh, dynamic root, which is nice, which you know obviously changes your directions as you as you turn off a bit earlier to stop for a coffee, avoid toll roads, tunnels. Uh, for the map, we've got different display options. I can set my favorite POI categories here to show onto the map. Uh, voice guidance. Let's see, version information, 2015-16, uh, a bunch of things that I don't know what they are. 
you can import destinations using a VCF format if you have an SD card, like a bunch of contacts, for example, or a bunch of um, if you have a bunch of Domino's Pizza locations and a VCF card, you can import it. Advanced settings, yep, and fuel options. I can say I prefer um, uh, shell stations, which I do, and uh, fuel warning and such. Uh, all right, so back to nav here, and the the the. The organization of these are just really nice. Let's do a new destination. All right. So in this, uh, this is kind of improved. Before you had to type in the state first, then the city, then the street, then the, the address. Uh, it's a it's a good way to defeat very slow CPUs. So if you have a, a processor that can't um, work very quickly, you want to kind of narrow down the, the amount of fields it has to search through. So by isolating it to one city inside of one state, um, you know, Sinclair Road is much easier to process if it's a, a city with only uh, 500 treats, for example. So let's uh, let's navigate to, uh, let's just go to uh, Boat Launch. That's pretty nice. It's suggesting things that are nearby first uh, as I type. Let's do a space. And let's type in Mass. Let's see if this works. Downtown Boston. Uh, okay. Cool. So let's do uh, yeah, let's do downtown Boston, and let's do some route options real quick. So we can customize the route options we set up earlier um, per per uh, route basis. All right. You can store this as a safe place if I'd like to. Let's just start. The routes are being calculated. It's going to provide multiple different routes. It's going to give me a fast route. The fastest route is here. Please select a route. Uh, the less lowest mileage, and I I believe this is the most scenic. Maybe, yeah. The tree icon is there, so let's do the fastest one. There are toll roads on the route. Okay. You the notice, destination is in the direction shown. You notice this just changed. Um, you know, arrival time, distance, and such. Let's go ahead and let's see. How do we cancel this? The destination is in the direction shown. Okay. Root. Uh, let's stop. All right. Uh, video is going a little bit, a little bit long, so I'm going to go on here to info. Uh, this, is, I believe, is either a TMC, which is a um, kind of a radio-based traffic system, uh, or it is based off of uh, the Sirius XM data. I'm not quite sure, but I'll give you um, your teams, uh, entertainment, look nearby, traffic, um, weather. You can click on these here, but it kind of gives you a, a way to set what you want to be the default. So let's have, uh, let's go out to fuel prices and uh, yeah, traffic. And then here you can click on like weather and then you can see um, ski info, other things like that. All right, on to car. So this gives me my uh, MPG miles since I started earlier. Um, since refuel, since start, okay. And then let's actually take, um, so down here, we've got a USB plug. Um, I've got the Apple Lightning cable here. So we're going to plug in my iPhone. I know this is not a, the best angle. Okay, we've got reading USB device. And usually what will happen is if it's a, a dumb MP3 player or some sort of analog thing, it'll... Um, It'll, it'll put it into the media area as a source. And you can actually still do that. You can do media area source, and I can do Bluetooth audio from my phone if I'd like to. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu, and this is kind of all of the uh, the setup audio options, background images, uh, serious functionalities, various settings. Um, we're going to actually click on App Connect. So all right, anyway, hands-free connection dis um, was disconnected. The device, the Bluetooth is disconnected. We've got on our screen here a CarPlay button or an icon. So what's happening is the phone's actually mirroring. And you'll notice whenever I click out to the home screen, um, what happens here is it's mirrored on my uh, phone and my display here. So you go back to Maps and you've got Maps back open. So when your phone is down in this cubby here stored away, you've got this stuff here. So let's click on the home button as if we would our iPhone. You'll notice that the screen down there is mimicking that, but assuming the screen will go off eventually. Um, actually, put it up here for the better, the better Wi-Fi service. So for phone, whom shall I call for you? No one. Uh, you can show contacts, access your voicemail, 
I have nothing because I don't use the phone that much, you know, kids these days. Uh, you get the uh, the signal indicator, the time on the phone that it's on Wi-Fi currently. Uh, back home again. Now, if you have any applications that are approved by Apple to be CarPlay enabled, such as Audible, MLB at Bat, and whoops, and um, well, these are two Apple applications: podcasts and audiobooks. Uh, that will show up here. Uh, I'm going to go to music. Uh, we've got radio from Apple, my playlists, uh, artists, songs. Uh, and you can do a couple other options here. I mean, with radio, you're going to get like Beats 1 or any sort of uh, stations that you have customized in Apple Music. With Maps, which is the most exciting thing here, this and from here, you can um, use this to go around, or you can put your finger up to the thing, and you can click on destinations like this. Um, I, I can navigate here, but I can't uh, pinch to zoom. So how do I zoom in and out? Well... Uh, you've got to click on up here, and then you've got to do the minus button or the plus button. That's how that works. So we're going to route to, uh, let's go to Rochester, New Hampshire. So we've got a loading screen here. All right. And all this is being done on the iPhone, uh, just being married to the display, which is nice. You can put, the, you can put your phone in the, the glove box if you'd like to. Just note that whenever you pick up your phone to send a text, um, the map will go in the background for a few minutes while you send that text. The point is with this is that it's supposed to be hands-free. So we've got three routes available. So we can pick those, not this way. We have to click this. Start. Starting route to Rochester. Head north on NH route 4A. And we're going to end and go back here. Um, one other thing I'll show before we end this is you can go to at bat, which I think is kind of nice, and it'll show you all the games that are currently live, and then you can tune into those. I want to tune into the Indians feed. And uh, it'll stream the station if you have an at bat subscription. There's various stuff in here, but but it's only going to show you applications that are installed on your phone and applications that support CarPlay mirroring, and that is still in a process you have to go through Apple to um, to get. All right. So I think that pretty much shows everything. Uh, oh, well, if this Volkswagen button, uh, it, it mirrors everything else. So if you hit this button, you're going to go to FM. If you're back into uh, to CarPlay here with the Volkswagen button, it takes you kind of back to the main menu. So I guess anyone that is unsure how to get out of the Apple ecosystem can just click this button, and it'll take you to the main menu again. Um, one thing about CarPlay that I'll mention is that... Um, when you're using Apple Maps or when you're using the music in here, that music isn't going to be reflected in media. That map is not going to be reflected in nav. Those are built-in MIB2 functions that are native to the car that don't require a phone. Uh, like Maps for the car will use TMC for traffic, whereas Apple Maps will use a combination of various traffic sources. Um, also of note, if you're using CarPlay, the let's say I'm playing a song here. Let's just play a, a radio station. Uh, hopefully it won't be too loud. If I go over to um, to music, it's not going to show anything playing. It's going to show an AM station. Or it might say Apple CarPlay, but it's not going to tell me the, um, the now playing option. And if I go over to Maps, and I'm rooting somewhere. Let's say I want to go back to Rochester. And I'm going to click over here to... Um, to navigation. I've started my route. Starting route to Rochester. But the navigation on NH route for it. But the navigation built into the car won't show up here. So if you like being able to look straight ahead for your music and for your maps, um, and you're using CarPlay, you're gonna lose that. So I guess the alternative is that you can um, you know, use the navigation that's built into the car. Um, and then kind of click over here and go back to CarPlay for your uh, for your Apple Music that you're that you're doing. Uh, so that'll end this for now. It's been a pretty long video, but I thought it would be great to kind of show you guys how this works. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will uh, I'll do my best. That is the Volkswagen Mib or MIB2 platform on the 2016 model year cars in North America. Thanks for watching.